Hello. It's your girl Becky and I am lost. I don't know where I'm going. So for today, I thought I would visit a new place. So I just picked a random train station that is relatively close to the waterfront. But at the same time, I don't know if there are any waterfronts that are near the station that are available to the public because I am here. And it seems that it's all like shipping, logistics, industrial. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna need to find a place to sit down and sketch. Hope I'll catch you back with some good news. I am now trying to find a park instead. So we're completely abandoning the waterfront. Okay, we found an entrance. Nam Chong Park. Let's go. Okay, there's a lot more people than I thought there would be. I guess this is about 4 p.m. So it does make sense that there are a lot of kids that are out. But I just want to find a quiet place to sketch and chill out. I even brought a cold drink straight out of the fridge right before I left my house. But I think it's going to be warm by now. I don't know how it holds up in my bag. It's not like I put in a couple of coolers or anything. My main concern is actually I want to find a spot where there aren't a lot of kids just because a lot of them seem to be playing with balls and like badminton and these kind of sports. I just don't want them knocking all over my art stuff because I don't want to be worrying about that when I'm sketching. Staircase. I wonder where this goes. I'm wondering if there's going to be less people just because it takes a little bit extra effort for the kids to go up but we'll see and we'll try to find a spot i thankfully got my picnic mat today oh no oh no it's just a street guys this is just a street i'm trying to spot out the park as well i guess i can go down there and i'll be surrounded by greens let's see okay I'm gonna go back down. In Hong Kong standards, this park is pretty huge. I actually didn't expect this park to be quite spacious. It's a great first time to be here. So I cannot wait to park myself down and start sketching. Oh gosh, what looks spacious from up there is a lot less spacious when you go down here. Everything is so close. Oh no. myself down when I saw this root from this tree and how the leaves and the flowers just grow on it and I just kind of figured out immediately that this is what I was gonna sketch maybe I'll figure out a composition something like that maybe did I need to take a train to sketch the root of a tree absolutely not but am I doing it yeah I am <laughs> It's cold, but pretty good. Let me explain my current setup to you guys. So this is a cutting board. So what I've done, because we've been struggling so much recently with trying to keep the palette in place, and also my fingers kind of cram up at the end because I would be holding it in this position for about 20 minutes. So I've clipped kind of these sketchbooks, um, the edge of these sketchbooks down alongside my art toolkit. And now I'm ready to sketch. For dramatic effect, I'm going to have this root kind of curl up a little bit. Let me get my eraser. It's going to have like little flowers sprouting out from here. Cool. Pencil sketch in. Learn my lesson. I'm going to get this really big water brush. That is the biggest water brush that I know of. If you know of a bigger water brush, please let me know. Spraying my watercolor palette a little bit. Oh, actually, can have this tiny Kleenex down there. I always like to use up whatever's in my palette first, so let's see what this color makes. I think it can work for the color on the back. Let's see, trying to get the right green is always hard and we need a lot of it, so let's 
gonna put a very light wash. I'm gonna try and leave out some spaces where I know the tree roots are gonna be. It's actually a useful time to put in some brown. I'm gonna put in some brown right here. Because then it kind of has a wet into wet blending. Or as wet as this sketchbook can be. Now this big water brush is very watery, so there's that. Trying to squeeze more water to come out. There you go. Right on the page. Beautiful. Beautiful. No, oh, that's a lot of water. Okay, I don't know if the sketchbook can handle that much water. But we're gonna roll with it. Oh, that's actually blending quite beautifully. I quite like that. And then, I know there's a shadow going right across where the tree kind of stopped. And it makes like a... dark kind of color. This is a shadow solely from the tree. And then I'm also gonna color a little bit of this side because the sun shining very brightly from the left. break um, I'm gonna let that dry for a bit while I put on some sunscreen let me just wipe off this because I think I'm ready to move to my smaller regular water brush Oops, sorry my hands still a bit oily from the sunscreen okay I know this tree needs to be a lot darker so okay let's come up with a strategy let's let's figure out this tree this is gouache, I would focus on dry brushing it, but because this isn't, we will make do. This actually reminds me a lot of Sarah Burns' class on trees. Which was a great one, and it's where I learned how to really digest all these tree shapes. So if you want to learn more about sketching trees you should totally check her out she's got some really cool stuff okay so this is the darkest part of the trunk okay let's see if i can undo this bit aha watercolor amazingness just try to blend it a bit more I'm gonna try and see if I can do some brightness. I think maybe with a little bit of yellow ochre. Yellow ochre, a little bit of white. Let's see. I need to stop. I know I'm not really following the lines, but I need to stop just very carelessly making my marks. a lot of marks here on the trees that I will try to make. Oh God, it's so humid that actually I'm not having trouble at all getting stuff out of these colors. Okay, 
I do not know how to do this for the record like sketching leaves has always been my struggle I've taken like a couple of classes on it as well Justin Donaldson was a guy whom I took classes from to paint gouache and paint landscapes but it is really really hard like mixing greens is hard king light and shadow is hard putting in the details is hard because there's just like an infinite amount of leaves and how do you even like decide where to put stuff in you know like it's just so tricky Currently, like my strategy is just I want to put all the darks on one side but now it just looks like a blob even though from afar they look okay let me also put in like the darker part of the leaves wherever I see shadow I'm gonna place these darks in let's give defining the shadows a try that made no difference I kind of don't know what to do anymore with this sketch so I'm just going to add the final touch which is these little flowers if I could get like the color to come out at all I think that's it Today is my 8th day of filming Plan April which means I've been sketching for 8 days straight and on some days I document it so I can share it with you guys but I just want to say that it actually has been harder than I thought it would be like I thought it was going to be a little bit more chill mainly because I already have like a sketching outside practice that I do regularly not every day maybe like twice a week three times a week so I'm like a person that always keeps a sketchbook with me and if you follow my Instagram, then you would see that even in restaurants when I'm waiting for a friend to show up, I would just pull out my sketchbook and I'll just start drawing. I'm not sure if it's because there's a pressure to post every day. That's why it's a little bit tricky. Or the fact that there are set elements, you know, I can't just sketch whatever is around me. Like I need to look for these elements or interpret these elements as it appears around me. So there's that extra pressure. And also the fact that I guess it's not in the rules, but that I'm supposed to post at least finished sketches. So what usually happens, say, if I'm at a restaurant and my friend comes, I'm just gonna stop that sketch midway. Like, I could just be, like, outlining and everything would be on, like, the left side of the page or I'm, like, half through shading. I would just close the book then and there and I'll just pack it. But if it's a uh, plan April and if you're posting it, then there's that pressure to show that at least it's finished. Because I don't post my unfinished sketches. Like, you guys would see it if, if I do a sketchbook tour. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how I proceed with this. I'm more than a quarter weight there. So I'm actually doing better than I thought. Like, I thought I would feel, like, really hard on the third day. So the fact that I made it to day eight is pretty good if you guys are struggling with it let me know in the comment down below and maybe we can like motivate each other or something i'm so keen on doing this it'll be really interesting to see how i move forward with this like i've definitely already changed a little bit of stuff like i've ditched the easel because i thought it was just too much pressure like i thought i would just stick with what i know with what i'm comfortable with which is like sketching in my small tiny sketchbook in a portable setup like i ditched gouache i switched it out for watercolor which is not what i thought i would do because i'm actually more comfortable painting in gouache but when it comes to sketching outside i like watercolors just because they're a little bit more portable anyways thank you so much again for joining me today for today's sketch venture and today's planner attempt i am quite happy that i made it outside that i got to do sketching on the park even though i didn't make it to the ocean like i wanted to i really wanted to do some more waterfront stuff so maybe i'll have to plan that again for the next time if you find value in this video at all i would really appreciate a like and a subscribe like it really helps out this channel if you do that regardless i'm more than happy to make this for you guys like i sketch on a regular basis anyway so i'm just glad that this is out there kind of spreading out in the internet urban sketching or sketching from life is really fun i just hope that i could share just a little bit of that with you guys to really get all of us outside for a little bit or even just in our daily lives like it doesn't have to be at the outdoors it can be like the indoors just sketching and just putting down that memories on paper with intention because you know you're you're doing every stroke like it's not a photograph where you snap it and everything is a whole picture but you're putting everything down stroke by stroke and line by line and in the, every line that you put in is one that you meant for it to be there every color is something that you meant for it to be put down it's a good way of recording your memories and your surroundings 
Ah, I went on a little bit of a ramble then. I'll catch you guys next time. And in the meantime, take care. I'll see you guys here next time. Bye.